Jan Gell is a Danish architect that was born in 1936 in Copenhagen, Denmark. He specialises in urban design and was awarded with a Masters of Architecture from the Royal Danish Academy of Fine Arts. His vision is to create a good quality of urban life in cities and to give priority to the pedestrian and the cyclist. Life Between Buildings is a book that explains how outdoor spaces within urban environments are used by the general public. Van Gaal highlights within the book what factors influence people to use spaces in a particular way. The book then continues to explain the general psychology behind people's thoughts, decisions and processes which affect how they interact with these urban environments. We are now going to show you what type of activities occur within the urban environment according to Gale. A necessary activity is where a person walks with the focus of getting to a specific destination. In doing so, the individual does not stop to engage in any social activity as the individual's main focus is to get from A to B. As you can see, Laura has a specific destination in mind, that is to head to the post office. She does not engage with anyone as she walks to the post office. She is purely focused on reaching her destination as quickly as possible. An optional activity is when a person who is in the process of a necessary activity pauses to engage in an activity that they did not plan to do. Here you can see the woman is clearly walking quickly with a particular destination in mind, but she pauses to look in the window of Patisserie Valerie, then carries on with her journey. The woman did not initially plan to stop at the window, but because the outside conditions are favourable, this activity occurred. A social activity is where a person who would not normally choose to engage in social interaction does. This happens when the urban environment is favourable and promotes such activities. Here you can see two people who don't know each other engage in conversation when normally they wouldn't or plan to do so, but because the outside conditions were favourable, this activity occurred. We are now going to explore how Gail discusses sitting within outdoor spaces. For the majority of the time, sitting is an optional activity and depends highly on the quality of the physical environment. If there are very few opportunities to sit down or the quality of the seating is poor, then people are just going to walk on by and stays will be very brief. Good seating opportunities encourage other activities such as eating, reading and even people watching. People prefer to use seating that is positioned around the edge of the space as it allows them to view all other activities that are taking place whilst keeping their backs protected, making them feel less exposed. There are two types of seating that can be used within a space. Primary seating, such as benches and chairs, and supplementary secondary seating, such as steps, walls and multi-purpose city furnishings. According to Gell, spaces should have limited numbers of primary seating and large numbers of secondary seating. The sight of lots of empty benches, which is common in bad weather or out of season, can make a space look rejected and abandoned, whereas secondary seating can add interest to the space and can provide seating when the demands are great. Multi-purpose city furnishings create greater diversity within the space. The large base of this statue is a popular place to sit. Even though it is in the middle of the space, the statue provides a form of protection to the user's back. Now we will look at the urban spaces around Nottingham through the eyes of Gale, with these principles in mind. Our first space is located off Maid Marion Way, beneath Broadmarsh Car Park. First observation of this space are that it is only used for necessary activities. The space is used for access to the car park on Stanford Street, Maid Marion Way and staff entrance or exit from the Broadmarsh Centre. Only necessary activity takes place here. People come to this space to smoke but don't stay longer because the quality of the space is not favourable. The dark colours, harsh materials and general intimidating appearance of the space make it uninviting for passers-by to use it. The space does not provide sufficient seating. There's no primary seating and secondary seating is in the form of steps and ledges only, which are either too low down or unappealing and uncomfortable to sit on. Gail might suggest that the quality of the space could be improved by doing the following. 
installing new lighting to brighten the space and improve security. Existing features such as the columns and fencing could be painted in a lighter, more appealing colour. New planting could be put in to soften the edges and make the space more pleasant to be in. Also, add new primary seating around the edges of the space and around the columns to provide people with the opportunity to sit down and view most of the space. Here we are at Middle Hill, the alternative route for Weekday Cross. Access to the space is via the steps from the Nottingham Contemporary and Canal Street. There are also two entrances to the Broadmarsh Centre. Only necessary activities take place here, despite the fact that it's relatively busy. People only come here to smoke or walk straight through. A popular spot for smokers is the sheltered area next to the subway. The space is relatively quiet and there's a green area with trees present in the centre, which help to block out surrounding traffic noise. There is no seating provided to encourage people to stay longer or rest. Gail might suggest that the quality of the space could be improved by doing the following. The green area could be redesigned more creatively to achieve something which flows better through the space. More primary and secondary seating could be integrated into the green area and along the edges of the space. The space could also be made more visually appealing with the addition of a sculpture or a paving feature as a spin-off from the Nottingham Contemporary. Now at Trinity Square, this space is housed in the middle of a number of restaurants and small shops such as an optician's, a goldsmith's and a jewellery shop. It houses five modern benches. People are using this space in different ways, such as sitting, walking and standing. This space is different to any other in Nottingham because it is an open space, but it is not inviting enough for people to use it as any more than a perching point. The space is not lively or inviting, it is just a space. After viewing Old Market Square, which shows how open spaces can be very successful and taking notice of the key contributing factors, we now look at the Lace Market Square. With reference to knowledge gained from the book, examine why it does not work so well. Looking at the square through the eyes of Yang Gal himself, the area has very nice seating provided at various different levels, given the option of the public to choose their preferred seating. Having the option to choose your own seating gives the public a sense of freedom and not having to choose a single choice. The square is located near the college and would attract a lot of attention during opening hours from students. However, there is not a lot of attractions at street level, which is a lack of urban planning of the surrounding area. If more shops, restaurants were at street level, it would attract more people to use the space. The location of the square is very enclosed and it gives a feeling of being trapped between tall overpowering structures that do not lend to a welcoming feeling. Finally, the square, unlike Old Market Square and Trinity Square, is not attached to any major road. Therefore, someone passing by cannot see the square. So unless one knows the square is there, it is less likely to be used. During our visits to the various spaces within Nottingham, we've considered the following. Seating provision, location and access, types of activity and landscaping. All of these items contribute to the quality of a space. To summarise our findings, we've come to Market Square. We believe that the Market Square is the best quality public space that Nottingham has to offer. It's centrally located. Primary seating is tastefully integrated around the edges of the space. Necessary, optional and social activities are supported here. Planting and water features enhance the visual appeal of the space. Thanks and see you next time.